Good afternoon. Welcome from our studio in Amsterdam. Um, we're honored today because we have two very special friends of my two Italian friends, Luca Rancilio and Piero Salvatori. Hopefully he'll be able to come in to our, uh, our webinar. I want to first greet as many of you as I can. Welcome Joost, Andrea, Steve, Salvatore, Marcel, uh, Joseph, uh, Cor, Hypa, Min, Mariella, Arvind, Ursula, Yodi, Sabrina. If you have questions, just for some technical info, if you have a question that you want to pose, under the screen, you'll see open questions. Just type it in there and we will address those questions. Don't put the questions in the chat area, okay? That would be really, really helpful. So I want to briefly introduce Luca Rancilio. You know, if you're not familiar, he is a, a thought leader and an active impact investor who transitioned a family business in the espresso machine business to a very successful family office. He's a dear friend, a philanthropist, and a great guy, mm. and definitely the Yoda of finding great fish restaurants. So, and also being the uh, twin um, for Sylvester Stallone in Rocky. Um, <laughs> Luca, please share with the audience your personal journey going from a very successful family business to a family office and investor. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Robert, for having me, and thank you to all of you. Uh, I'm, I'm Luca. I'm 50 years old uh, this year, and my name, maybe Rancilio, tells uh, basically to a lot of people something. My family, we, we produce for more than 90 years the espresso machine. My grandfather, Roberto, in fact, in 1927, uh, was one of the three, four pioneers that started the market in, uh, in the area of Milano. People normally, they think that the espresso is a Sicilian or uh, from Naples invention, but not. The, the, the invention is the machine to do, to do espresso. And Roberto was one of these uh, pioneers starting uh, a company, but also, let me say, the, the, the market. Me, I, I had the, unfortunately for me, you know, the, the unluck that my father died when I was very young, when I was 20. And my father Romano was the last one of the second generation. His, uh, his brothers, they, all, they died also before between the 60s and the 80s. So the second generation of Rancilio, uh, fully dedicated to the espresso machine company, basically went, passed away in, uh, in a very short time. So me, my sister and two cousins basically the, the, the same, uh, the same uh, age. Uh, we had to manage uh, um, a company quite big, was of course not, not Fiat Chrysler, but uh, a quite big company with distributors all over the world. Imagine also uh, many employees, many workers. Uh, and basically on the other side with a very, I would say with nothing, with no experience. No? So at the beginning was, was very difficult. Let, let, let define myself at the beginning that age, uh, me, my sister, my cousins, uh, like we were startuppers also, even if uh, in, a, in a company quite, uh, quite big. And maybe thanks also to an experience. So I mean, to, to be free of mind, uh, we, we, we could do a lot of, uh, to put some uh, uh, innovation in a company that of course is a company uh, uh, that comes from a niche and, and, and an Italian tradition. And the company became bigger, grows a lot, to be, to be honest also, as you can imagine, the, the espresso market uh, grows a lot. We, you can also think uh, that after big guys like Starbucks or other, they enter the market uh, for uh, Italian families like mine doing uh, espresso machine, there, wo there were a lot of uh, bigger opportunities. Uh, so we stayed there 24 years uh, from 1991 uh, to 2013. Uh, and me, I'm the, the person of the family, less, in, less product guy, I'm not really, an Italian, 
I'm not a typical Italian entrepreneur, but on the other side, I, um, I force, I, I invite the, the family to do many things uh, in innovation, especially, especially abroad. And I'm the same person, I'm, I'm the one that in 2012-2013 say to the other part of the family, uh, guys, I want to do I want to do something else. No, I want to 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 make another journey. I didn't know exactly what. So for me, it was something uh, uh, like an instinct to do something new. Uh, and in, so, in very very long story story short, in 2013, we sold the Rancilio Group to a giant player of uh, food equipment. And my family, that it means uh, me, my sister, and my mother, we are really a family office in many, in many ways, in a, in, a, in, a, in concrete uh, terms, in concrete words. We decided to still to stay together and instead to do investments, uh, everyone by himself, uh, to create again, uh, let me say, a company, even if uh, a new generation, uh, a new approach company. Uh, for me, Going back to, to 2013, uh, beginning 2014, uh, really I didn't know <laughs> what to do. Imagine that I'm not from the liquid market, so I don't really like the liquid, uh, the liquid market. I'm, I'm, I don't really neither see a value. We are not an uh, investor in real estate. We are a strange Italian family. So all my life was dedicated to companies. Let me say a, a company... <laughs> Made, with a product made of metal, so very, very old economy in a certain way. So established, established Rancilio, Rancilio Cube to do a family office activity. Mm, uh, strangely, but maybe not so strangely, in, in a short period of time, uh, from the liquid market, uh, we go more investing, I would say, in two pillars, in venture capital from one side, and on the other side, in, in impact investing, okay? So the nature, the DNA of a family that uh, from one side is uh, from, uh, from a market also very stable. Of course, Rancilio is not uh, a, a, an impact company like uh, you can define from the ES, ESG. But on the other side, is also a, a company very sustainable. A, a, also, uh, the, the other part of the, the DNA, even being in Milano, this is a little bit uh, not quite strange, but uh, there are not so many people doing uh, in Italy. We went especially investing uh, not only not not really in Italy, but mostly in the US, in the north of Europe, uh, in UK, in in the Netherlands. Uh, so this is basically my journey and where I am with the family office. But um, I would imagine the company has been around a while. There's a great emotional connection with what you're doing. Wasn't it difficult, you know, letting go of what your grandfather started and what your father uh, built and shifting to an investment vehicle, which is what a family office is? Wasn't that difficult for you or your family? Or was it, you know, a liberation? Oh, finally. We're done with the factory. No, let me say my my feeling is uh, I heard once the, the story of Enzo Ferrari selling to Fiat. No, his time was over there. Even if I was forty four years old, my time in Rancilio was over. As an entrepreneur, as a manager, you can you can say in many ways. So uh, I have no. No regrets because uh, 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 when my father died, maybe maybe you Robert uh, remember 1991. There was the Gulf War, okay. So period was a disaster. So everything was so difficult. So we managed from that that situation very difficult to succeed. I I felt like uh, my journey there was was uh, was over. And in doing something new, I hope, I, I dream to carry on with me the same values uh, than, when I, than when I was in Rancilio. I mean, I like people, 
before were uh, worker and distributors and manager now are partner to invest okay i like long long term relationship with <laughs> with my co investments is the same like distributor before of course what i'm telling you maybe is a little bit not really italian Exam for example for my mother she is uh, 82 this year to sell ranchito to sell ranchillo was very difficult uh, she she always asked me <laughs> Now, now not anymore, but uh, she always asked me, but we were there when it was so difficult. Why now that everything is going in that good direction, uh, we are selling it. And for me, it's neither a question of money, no, because uh, Rancilio continues to grow. Uh, uh, is a profitable company. It's not really, let me say, squeezing the, the lemon, no. Uh, it was a moment in which uh, I, I feel like even if you are an entrepreneur or maybe more if you are an entrepreneur and investor you are first a human being you know? so if you if your instinct is saying to you that you have to do something else it's better to you to do something else who is i mean i would imagine in a in a family uh sisters and mothers and 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 other family shareholders uh are they tougher on you in performance of re financial returns for the family office than they were when it was a company i mean did they expect they were happy if it didn't do so well one year financially but we were making espresso machines uh or and now it's a family office which is in basically producing financial returns hopefully are they tougher on you now than they were before or are they the same or they're happy both ways no we, we are a family <laughs> in, in uh, good time and bad time we are a family of course uh, but was even was before even uh, if you're talking about uh, how many coffee machine you are selling or uh, the result of an investment as an entrepreneur, a return, a result uh, is also the measurement that you are doing uh, something that, that makes sense. No? But on the other side, let me say that uh, uh, we are not asking each other uh, uh, just a number, just a result. Again, is a journey that we want to, to, to do together. I, I tell you something that maybe is my, is my only experience. How many families, when they sell a company like Rancilio, everyone goes is in, in his own direction, no? They don't share anything because for many people, uh, there are uh, some rivers, no? They go, everyone in his... In our case, uh, we like the idea to, to be in, again together for choice and not because, uh, no, we are in a company and someone like can be a father, left it left it to to us uh, of course the the, the result a uh, return <laughs> also because is what uh, gave us to to live uh, is uh, for us important you have a um, uh, quite unusual for an investor professional investor you have a very good intuitive feel for people that you meet i was also surprised i remember you met one uh, fund manager at, at one of our conferences, and it was it was a very short conversation. He said, "Okay, I'm in." Uh, it wasn't, you know, most people who raise money are used to lots and lots and lots of meetings before you even get even close to someone saying that they're interested. But I don't know if that's changed. Maybe it was early days, and you were, you know, very easygoing about things. But you you seem to work very much on your into your feeling your intuitive feeling of of a person rather than all of the financials is that true for me for me the quality of of people like i mean human beings is the only way robert there is not another uh, never met a bad person person an ugly person that has a fantastic company in my life never met if you people they have uh, i can introduce you to those if you want <laughs> <laughs> me me i'm looking for that kind of people again no 
I'm looking for the, the kind of invest. Oh, every one of us has, uh, let me say, his personal taste, no? But but even because, uh, and I want you and the crowd to to see also this. We are not we are not uh, the fund, no. We are investing in fund and direct investment, and maybe later I I can tell some example. So have, having trustable relations with someone is the only way for me to do this strategy, okay? And the quality of the other people, also how much they want to carry on a, a, a win-win relationship with my family is the only way. And let me say again, this is not different like uh, distributors in an espresso so machine company or suppliers, no? You don't go to suppliers of a company like Rancilio every day to squeeze the cost you know, for one dollar. You are looking for something that is quality because your products are going in the everyone in the world, uh, uh, a trustable relationship. And maybe the time that you are in, in difficult for some somehow, <laughs> this guy is, is prepared also to, to help you. I know is a <laughs> do you remember that movie Karate Kid? No. It's like in my first live, no, I put the walks all the time using what I learned to do something else. I hope at least, no, maybe maybe I'm crazy, but uh, I'm trying to bring the same values also in something that is starting from money. But for me, it's not starting from money. It's starting from people and the ideas. Yeah, um, we're gonna I'm, we're gonna get into some of the questions because uh, uh, we have quite a few questions over here. Do you have a specific strategy with respect to investing in direct direct investments in companies or investing in funds? Is there a geographic focus or an industry focus? Um, how do you determine your uh, your strategy? Is it you know? Do you decide that yourself, or do you discuss that with your family? Uh, is it written down? You know, is it more informal or formal? Yeah, it's a little bit uh, not structured. What I can tell you that uh, restarting 2013, uh, cannot say name, but from banks uh, as advisor. So very shortly, my my family went to investing uh, directly abroad in innovation. For example, we were the only Italian family in 2015. Uh, we invested directly together with General Motors and Move Adal and Lyft, you know, the competitor of, of Uber. So from that moment, for me, it was quite clear, uh, okay, instead Again, another time, another another time in my life, like before in Rancilio, I'm leaving the island like a Robinson Crusoe. What does it mean? I'm leaving all these guys advising something. And honestly, talking is also sitting on on their profit, not not my journey. Okay, to do step by step, uh, connecting the dots, many many investment. Uh, so we are mostly investor in the U.S. In the north of Europe, we we are across the stages, and I would say across the sector. Going to the impact space in 2014, we became subscriber of an education node. Maybe someone knows uh, called Prodigy Finance. They do cross-border student finance, just the MBA. You know? <laughs> and for me, <laughs> investing in that bond that also has at the time, like five, five point something of return, I say to myself and to my family, but, but this is the only way to do this. No, this is, this is the finance I'm looking for because it's a nice return and you can judge if five, six percent is a good return for a bond. On the other side, I'm helping an Indian student to do MBA at Oxford or Harvard. But this is exactly in, in another source uh, what happened to me when I was 20. You no, know? he, he has his own chance and he wants to prove uh, what is uh, his own journey. So uh, in this strategy, okay, especially abroad, uh, from innovation to impact, there are basically the two pillars in which uh, 
you we are moving i know that they are not answering you <laughs> with uh, with uh, uh, i would say with with uh, the code of the bank no i don't have the code of the bank banks are complaining so much with me like oh, you are investing too much in venture capital i invested too much in in impact investing but why is too much <laughs> it's, it's like before someone was coming to me and say Luca, you are doing too many espresso machine. <laughs> but why? I'm doing I'm doing espresso machine. <laughs> You're doing too many. Why are you doing only espresso machine, not something else? I'm doing espresso machine. And and this is, let me say, even better. We, we have 80, 80 investment, 20 are funds across the world, across stages. Uh, I'm happy. I'm uh, I like pe the people uh, with whom I'm dealing. Of course, uh, not all the 80s uh, will go, go in, a, uh, in, in a fantastic way. But this is life, no? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm pretty skeptical about, uh, about that people, they promise you something, uh, no? Measure like before, like crazy. That, that, uh, that measurement for me is not, uh, not that important. So, so you're, you're managing 80, 80 investments uh with 300 staff or something like that sorry <laughs> how many how many people work in the family office no we are four started okay. by myself and this is the second part of the, of the journey from 2014 uh, until this year <laughs> before covid i would say no we we were only ourselves uh, one year ago, I go. I went to my sister and I say, Silvia, I have an idea. This strategy, maybe it's crazy, maybe I'm I'm foolish, I'm just foolish, no. But on the other side, it seems that people don't really have the the curiosity to go investing uh, uh, in venture capital, in impact investing. Why don't we involve other families and we involve the other families, other nine families to co-invest, uh, to co-invest it out. And I invented also a model, let me say, Robert, maybe I'm crazy again, uh, no carry, no commission. We share the team, we are paying together the people, growing together like a company. But me, I'm the majority shareholder of this vehicle that has the eight investment inside to, inv to, to invest. And they put the money, they put the capital increase. Basically, like a company, like a, a, a startup, no. And of course, you have to to think. I don't, I don't, we are we are not Superman and Superwoman. The eight investment are uh, follower investment or backing funds. Of there is a little bit of bureaucracy, but the part very difficult is to connect the dots every every day. No, every day to understand which can be another investment uh, in our spectrum uh, that may make sense you probably meet a lot of family offices who say hey luca tell me you know what are you doing what is this story about impact do you find it because this is a complaint that we often get that it's challenging or hard to convince family offices to start looking uh, add more of an impact strategy, or is, do you find it easy? I mean, are most of your the family office you're engaging with are they mainly in Italy? No, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Looking, looking uh, from outside uh, is very, very difficult. Think about Italy. Italy maybe is one of the country more difficult because uh, to to tell it directly, you know, in in the area of Milano. People, they, they are entrepreneurs like my family. They produce a product maybe for uh, for decades, no? So they have money to invest. But on the other side, uh, very often a generation of, uh, like my mother, no, 78 years old, is not leaving uh, the new generation to really lead investment and i'm not i'm not only saying uh, 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 in in the pillars venture capital uh, uh, impact uh, in general M me i'm 50 and in the, i'm in the middle but 
for sure for older people uh, is uh, is not that easy to understand what prodigy is doing or uh, a fund of three of those bank uh, in microfinance what is doing no okay is it you you know better than me maybe it's a generation problem no especially especially in italy uh, in our case uh, Again, you, you listen to my story. You know, I, I was orphan at 20 years old. I don't have a model uh, can address me and on the other side can say, can give me the other view. Okay, <laughs> better or wrong that, that, that it is. Uh, uh, I would say, going back, back to your question, that this is the moment. No, <laughs> this is the, the what was the moment even before you, you are the pioneer of impact investing. But if there is a moment in which we have to take apart uh, numbers <laughs> and, uh, and jacket and tie and go directly to what people, me, me as a person, we need, this is, this is the moment, is happening something, I want to go to the COVID, no? but is happening something for, for what? We are all the same. I don't know if you, Robert, agree. No? So it's the moment in which also that... Uh, generation shifting has to happen to my to my opinion the, i'm gonna i'm gonna start taking some of the questions that are over here i don't know if we'll get to all of them um core had a question is there much overlap between impact and venture capital and if so how do you approach it? Uh, I don't know how you how you want to address that because that's some of the questions about sectors you invest in and also uh, do you invest in, do you have specific industry sectors like only technology or food and beverage? If you could take those two questions, that'd be helpful. No, we are quite uh, agnostic. We did mobility, no, lift. Uh, we, we are out of lift uh, last year. We, had, we exited in August, okay. We like mobility, but not so much, but not uh, only mobility. We like fintech. We are investor, for example, of... Uh, N26, now a platform also in Asia called Payfats. Okay, so we like uh, we like fintech. We are not that in big investor in uh, travel, for example. We, we invested uh, and we, we did a, a very good return in a robotic company. And let me say in general, <laughs> I know someone can say, but you have to be specific, no? more than specific uh, i define ourselves we are explorer okay so if uh, uh, uh one month ago we did uh, our first investment with the german fund in healthcare okay so we want again to find the trustable people to go in that no comfort zone that can be something uh, good to open up uh, a, a, a new field again robert <laughs> My father, my grandfather started from Milano selling some companies, uh, some, some espresso machine to Naples. Uh, uh, my father go to France and Switzerland. Okay. In the 70s, did an agreement uh, with a guy in Chicago to import espresso machine in, in the US. No? In the 80s, went to Aust Australia. With, with the Rancilio third generation, we went everywhere, everywhere in China, in Africa in Maldives, we had a distributor in Maldives, okay? And we established company like Rancilio North America in Chicago to serve directly all the United States. If you think it's the same paradigm, okay? Looking for trustable relation, relationship to go in, in another comfort, uh, no comfort zone to become comfort, okay? I know this is not uh, the normal approach of uh, of uh how would you say of uh not trust no be be unconfident uh, to the to the company or to the fund you are investing but this is an old logic to me maybe you can define myself a pretty silly okay but i'm looking for uh, the good guy to invest with okay I, i'm looking for a win-win relationship okay I'm not looking for the situation that I have uh, every day to control because that, that that is stressful and it's crazy. I don't know if we let you see my point. No, no, I I I see it totally. I mean, we we get we meet a lot of people, and 
some are fun, some are not. You know, some are brilliant, and but you can't work with them. Um, it's, it, you know, you have to be able to work with people that you feel comfortable. Maybe they don't all have a great sense of humor. You know, I don't know if you ask a person to give you their best joke before you decide to invest to see if you can work with them. But uh, I, I totally understand that. Like Rosa had a question here about, you know, you get a lot of opportunities brought to you probably all the time. People are always knocking on your door. I mean, people on over here in this chat are also trying to pitch things to you. Um, how do you, her question is, how do you manage to deal with all of these continuous opportunities coming at you? Uh, what are the, the main three things that you flag to reduce the, the amount of opportunity that you have to assess? Uh, is it more gut feeling or is it more numbers? You probably have a methodology that, that you feel comfortable with. If you could share that with the audience, I'm sure they'd love to hear that. Well, uh, I, as I, as I said, I, I try to connect uh, dots. So for me, uh, the rel uh, how is special the relationship uh, or uh, ideas or set up ideas of the entrepreneurs is very, I would say is the more important things, you know? So, uh, for me, before the numbers, not, not, not only, only is, is crazy, no, but before the numbers, there are, uh, the human value and the, uh, journey, the vision, these guys, they want to, to put, uh, to put on the table, uh, of course, uh, are, uh, even because in Milano we are three, four, and <laughs> twenty, no. So uh, it's easy for for uh, you are you you are very visible. Let me say like this: I'm very visible, no. But on the other side, uh, I, I can manage. I no problem. All my life, I was, uh, let me say, you know. <laughs> Front, uh, front, direct with the problems and with the with the opportunities. So again, uh, we are a small group of people. We share ideas every day. Let me say that instruments like these are quite were quite uh, normal for us. Okay, so, so to decide if something is something is an opportunity, is something that we want to go a little bit more in deep or not. Uh, uh, it's very easy for the Rancilio Cube uh, team. If you go on the side of quantities, not only quanti uh, quant uh, qu quantities, but not only qualities, uh, we are uh, we are creating a, an umbrella of things, uh, different stages, different sectors. Again, no? so is the balance uh, between uh, these these. Uh, matrix that is creating our our project no <laughs> let me say it's like the italian diet no in the italian diet <laughs> you are vegan. no me i'm not vegan i eat fish meat not so much all vegetables i, I like bread i like pizza it's the same no of course if you eat uh, every day only pizza maybe it can be a problem for you for your health is the same logic. I know it's crazy, yeah, but uh, it's the same logic in a certain way. It's a sustainable approach of creating an investment strategy. Luca, we, um, we're going to have a, a brief uh, music interlude. We've had some technical problems for, we were, were hoping to do a live uh, concert uh, performance by Piero, but there are some issues of logging in. Sam and Pierre have been able to resolve this by loading up a video of several of his performances. So you will get a chance to hear the brilliance of Pierre. Our first um, uh, composition is In Pursuit of Magic, Never Stop Looking for Her in Every Little Big Thing. So we will now load up the, the performance, sit back, Enjoy, mute your phones. Thank you. 
Grazie, grazie. Grazie, grazie. I'm, I'm sorry that Piero couldn't manage to, to join. Piero, Piero is a musician, uh, cello, piano, composer. You can find pierosalvatori.com, no? Mm -hmm. and, and again, it's crazy, but he's coming to me. He came to Stockholm, for example, to do your, your uh, conference. Uh, it's exactly the paradigm of what we are doing. He's a classic composer, a classic musician with more instruments going every day in innovation in a, in a new world. And he's a really classy, decent human being, which is even more important than his genius with, uh, with music. Let's get back to some questions. You know, he's a fantastic success also with woman, so I'm very jealous. <laughs> So he, so well, he we is. Have, we have to to support. He, so you ride shotgun with him, as they say in uh, in Brooklyn. Um, Dorn had an, a question. She want, she's curious how how successful have your investments been in the direct investment? So the investment where you do directly into a company. Can you share? Uh, you don't have to give figures, but are you happy with? the performance of those investments yeah no no problem also to open uh, for example with lift uh, from 2015 uh, to august uh, we 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 did two two point uh two point two x okay and now now the the and, and again is something in which we can uh, we can think about now when they arrive to the liquid market uh, went away to 20 29 28 dollars the number we entered in 2015 okay uh, we did the impact part of our portfolio the education bond for example <laughs> that were who, who gave to us uh, who, who approached us say that's very risky yeah that is something we we <laughs> we get back all the money from students with the percentage return so i'm, I'm talking about bond on the equity side, uh, we did, uh, I would say, 10, 10 exit uh, from uh, 3x, uh, 2x, uh, someone uh, one, uh, one little, little more than, than one x. Uh, we also did mistakes. No, we also have uh, some investments that are not uh, performing. For example, we have a lending platform called Prosper in, uh, in the US. is not, uh, not performing like... Uh, like before, no? like like uh, the, the 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 planning, but but this is uh, this is uh, quite normal. In general, uh, of course, uh, this is an approach. Uh, no, the venture capital is an approach a little bit. People say more risky than, uh, but more risky than what? <laughs> Robert, if you if you are a real estate investor in Milano or retail real estate investor in Milano now supposed to be the more safe uh, in Milano, no? <laughs> now, <laughs> with COVID, <laughs> no? Yeah. Your portfolio is... Uh, so So I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to, to have done a strategy a little bit outside of the box, uh, but sitting again, uh, this is the only word that I want to use uh, on innovation. Okay. Do you have any? Do you have any geographic focus, or or is it we, is it relevant? We have real connection. The the biggest connection that I have with Asia is you. So at the moment we didn't find uh, also for a question of time, you know, because eight zero investment in uh, in five years uh, we didn't. We, we have these pay fats now, okay, but we don't really have the good connection. So it would be nice if I can use also this moment too to check opportunities uh, to go I, I'm, I don't know I, I don't know Asia so so well but I I, uh, I had a distributor in in, uh, in Shanghai I would say not the stressful part of but uh, more on the side that's my feeling maybe I'm wrong 
to balance no, situation that brings a little bit, uh, let me say again, an impact to a large uh, group of people like this pay fats want, uh, want to do. And uh, Diana wanted to know, um, was the early investment history with venture funds the driver and way to build confidence inability to move to direct investment i mean did you build your confidence with this first starting with funds and then shift it to direct or was it the other way around no it was the other way uh lift was one of the first and uh, the, i always say that the only things that i know is that i don't know so anytime I mean I was investing in something directly, for example, I invested convertible loan in a company fintech in Germany called Frogster. Okay. Just after the early stage, because I liked a lot the people, two guys, CEO, and the CTO, CTO for me is like uh, no, this guy Ken Zamir is like uh, uh, being in the R and D of Rancilio, like like a baby was born in when I'm close to 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 Ken. But when I invested in Frogster to tell to tell the story, I realized that there are some German funds, Early Bird and Speed Invest. These guys are doing are good. They have an experience in the technology and in managing this kind of investment. No, I know I don't know if I let you see the point. No. <laughs> Me, I'm from something with the boiler to do an espresso. How can I judge which is the, the good one <laughs> of the artificial intelligence anti-fraud technology? I need people like uh, Christian Nagel of uh, Early Bird or Oliver Rolle of, uh, of Speed Invest. No? And again, this is not something Italians. No? Italians, because they manage a company like NB Rancilio, is, is difficult to shift, uh, like, like changing position in a soccer team, no? You score the lot, <laughs> and, but you have to realize that you can stay in the defense or, or worse, you have to go <laughs> to, do, to do the manager, to do the coach, no? This is not very easy, no? This is not, it is also, it is also very connected to your uh, personal uh, DNA, personal nature. In my case, uh, I have no problem to say this one are good. So even if it uh, was a good investment to invest in Frogster, for example, the next one I want to be connected with them. Okay. Do you have a, 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 a couple of, I'll take a couple of questions here. Do you have a perspective on social impact uh, investing, that's one question. The other question from Parth is... Oh, yeah. um, the question of kids that say Italians can play soccer. Well, Italians <laughs> are the soccer, not Italians. <laughs> <laughs> Italians uh, can play soccer. Italians are the soccer. <laughs> by, by British people, but, you know, we are Italians. Yeah, okay. Well, I think there's a discussion you and Sam could have for the football fans over here. And also, Do you... we have Dutch soccer player in the 80s at Milan that changed totally even my life, like Gullit and Van Basten. And <laughs> Sorry. And Reichardt, I hear from Sam over here. Um, let's try, Getting back to the non-football questions, okay. uh, do you have a perspective on social impact investing? That's one. The second question, how do you source your deals? Sorry, I didn't understand the first one. So, so basically, uh, you have impact investing, venture capital, social impact investing that has a clearly measurable social impact, which might you might consider prodigy finance as okay. a social impact investing, improving someone's career and future by funding their education. Uh, so do you have a particular uh, view on social impact investing and how do you source your deals? Well, in the first question, <laughs> I have to say, and someone can say you are crazy, that I don't measure, you know, uh, and, and, and without uh, any, any, without being arrogant, uh, all these guys that now in the banks they want to measure, are they saying that before, to my opinion, were measuring something that now is not possible to measure anymore, you no? Know? 
So in my case, we are families. We are a family. We are families. Uh, we have. A, a, I. I am. I am so happy for the people that they measure. Okay, but we are not uh, such institutional to need. Uh, how how much is the impact uh, of prodigy finance? I like. I like prodigy finance, even if the result of the measurement would be zero, uh, uh, ten, or eleven. Okay. E e Again, uh, uh, I want to say also that in a vision, in a long-term view, but maybe not that long, no? if really we are talking about uh, a next generation in a concrete way, Robert, I don't know if you agree. We are not talking, ah, this is the next generation. But if there is a new generation that is going to decide really which are the investment and now the people is going to, to invest their money i don't know if we will see a big difference in a, in a time but maybe not that long again uh, between uh, the innovation side and the impact i don't know if i let you see my my point mm. i have no, a lot no, of investments I, I was the first uh, italian member of a famous uh, impact group no okay i have a lot of investment that for them are not uh, impact but for the other group i don't want to do to say name for the other group is impact okay i don't you understand what i what i mean totally for totally. me, I mean the, for me yeah. if uh, you know federica the, the girl yeah. working for me for me mm -hmm. she's free of mine she's 23 no <laughs> uh, with federica you like this you, you like that mm, or not it fit mm. generation or doesn't fit the, the the generation so that's the on the side of the question of uh, the question of source uh, again <laughs> and again you you can put me in uh, in the crazy box uh, box mm -hmm. of crazies uh, from the first money moment uh, like i manage uh, as, as a family directly the rancilio group uh, I went to all the meeting. Someone sent an email to me. I tried to respond, even 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 today, no. And and a bank I don't want to do the name. A bank told me once, but you are crazy. You you are you are disintermediating. Everyone can come to you and tell you something. <laughs> and me, I replied, but this is good, no, <laughs> because if, if I'm receiving directly without intermediation without people are paid let me say commission to bring this and bring that but directly the opportunity in in, in theoretically is better i don't know if i let you see my point well but you receive a thousand of uh, okay every day rancilio <laughs> i received not a thousand but hundreds of uh, situation you know in which you have to to manage is more or less uh, the same Th this create let me say after six six years uh, not to, to talk too good about ourselves and uh, uh, i'm just an italian person doing an investment strategy of course a reputation because uh, in the table of that guys uh, 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 when when first i went to three of those bank uh, marie lou <laughs> welcomed me Okay, and I was there telling my story. That was fantastic for me. It was a moment in which you say, well, this is the model I'm looking for. It's the same model when a guy, doesn't matter big or small client, came to Rancilio, and the Rancilio family welcome him. The, um, there's several questions here related to the pandemic. I mean, you've been stuck in the mountains for almost two months now <laughs> because of the pandemic. Um, how has the pandemic impacted you in your investment strategy? Have you decided, uh-oh, no more investments, pull back, uh, I'm going to wait and to see what Donald Trump decides this week to do, or are, has it had no influence at all on your strategy and investment well this is again uh and i don't want to 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 give an image you know like uh alice in wonderland uh, last year we decided to do this cube cube was the name project 
so to enlarge mm -hmm. our platform for other i would say family and friends no from from the founders me silvia adele to family and friends and now i know someone in my team is saying that i'm i'm too fast maybe it's real i'm too fast but this situation is just giving me nothing in the middle or if the strategy is wrong or if the strategy is right we are on the good way and innovation and impact uh, uh being uh, innovative is the way to do it this is the the moment to accelerate you know, in many ways in a connection for new investments in a, a, a object uh, investment to have an impact and also let me say in the financial inclusion this is another point i want to bring on the table uh, robert me i'm not a philanthropist i, I was not a philanthropist uh, no one in my family was a philanthropist no we don't divide uh, ah with this uh, we make profit with worker and with that we do the philanthropy to the charity no for us uh, it's just one pillar no what we do as a human being no and this is my opportunity also to bring a bigger a larger uh, group of people also to have access to investment uh, that maybe by themselves not only for it's not only a question of money it's also a question of access no because to enter a fund in the us with that minimum ticket but also with that people you need the access to no maybe people they don't really have or the curiosity or uh, or the, the the time the patient uh, to go in Zeist to connect now to hear those open also in uh, in Italy, but to connect uh, Zeist uh, with uh, with Milano. That that is my opportunity. Okay, that is my opportunity to do in the way of the investors a financial inclusion. Thank you. Um, the, uh, the there's a, there's a lot of. I, I, I remember you were saying that the, the, this measurement issue, um, you're constantly getting asked. And my experience is the ones that are talking a lot about the measurement is not perfect, is used as an excuse of not starting. Um, so it's, it's very convenient that, you know, it's, it's, it's never perfect. I keep hearing that ESG data that people keep saying is, is not good enough yet. No one says that the financial data is not good enough to cause the entire financial disaster. Um, you're, ha, you set up three new offices or two new offices. You're, you're still going full speed ahead. Uh, you're still engaging at uh, for investment. How can people reach you? Because you're, I mean, uh, with me, is, you're very accessible and you're a great guy. You know, website of Rancino Cube. Now we are uh, doing something uh, new, but uh, in LinkedIn, uh, me, Marta, Massimo, Federica, again, we are a horizontal team, okay? Uh, if someone goes on my LinkedIn and will write to me, me and normally I reply. I <laughs> don't want to be <laughs> arrogant, but I can also understand if something. <laughs> and again, Robert, this is in Milano. This is in Milano is very clear. No, people they have money to invest. They think that the good money they arrive not in the email inside their offices. Okay, in the center of Milano. But uh, <laughs> if you have a good uh, and innovative investment, you have to fight to get it. I don't know if I let you see the point. No, mm -hmm. you, you have to have the, the brave art, the, 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 uh, the curiosity and the access to. So me, I didn't stop to work uh, on this. On the side of your question, doors of Rancilio Cube, like before in the company, I always say to to the employees my door one day I, I i take it off i don't want the door of my office no mm. because my job is to solve your problem okay the, <laughs> it was crazy once in 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 ranchilio i say my job guys 
is to solve your problem, to put you in the condition to do your best journey. Not, not you, let me use it. I, I don't have, I don't have a, uh, a, a collection of, uh, of uh, English words enough. Not you to serve the Rancilio family. It's the opposite. The Rancilio family is here to facilitate something that is made by the people working there in the company. It's basically is more or less the same now. What is, um, we're going to play another piece of Piero because we're coming close toward the end. The, this next okay. piece is Ground Zero. Uh, there is no rebirth without the full awareness of remembering. If you could mute your phone, uh, Luca, that would be yeah, great. Can I say something about this? Sure, please. Yeah, uh, once uh, I was, uh, you know the Freedom Tower in New York, okay? And when I was at the Freedom Tower looking downside to, 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 to the big uh, hole no, that is in, in, instead of the Twin Towers, came to my mind and I called Piero to say, you need to connect to, to emotion, to vision that cannot be rebirth. You cannot go in a new without uh, remembering what was before no <laughs> to li to leave the island you have to know the island is the same uh, 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 metaphor when i said <laughs> would never imagine that piero played uh, for ground zero something so good put mute Luca, explain briefly why are you so connected and supportive of all of the work that Pierre? I mean, you brought him to our conference in in Zurich, in Stockholm, in Singapore, in Hong Kong. What is the relation? How, what is the meaning of this? Uh, the support that you give to Piero? What is the paradigm that you're trying to, to well, kind of... I'm so jealous about his success with women. <laughs> 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 so I want to study. I want to study what, what he's doing now. Uh, so <laughs> when I met Piero, we were in front of La Scala of Milano, and I didn't know he was a musician. I asked him, uh, in, on top of the scala there is a new part but uh, what do you think about this uh, the new part and the old part no you know the old part of the theater and he gave an answer to me like uh, like uh, my paradigm you have like the river like ground zero you have to know the old but to go in the path in the new every day no you have to shift between the two but never stopping and i say to him but this is the, the answer of a musician or someone, uh, no, I say, I'm a cello, but I'm not only a cello, I'm also a piano player. Ah, and I'm not only cello and piano, I'm also a composer. Okay, so from one side, Piero is uh, the opposite. Luca is Piero without the talent. I don't have any talent, no? But Piero is a talent. <laughs> yeah. The only talent that I have, Robert, that I'm maybe quite good 
to recognize the talent okay this, i say well this uh, this manager is good this this uh, entrepreneur is okay he's young no like even in italy, in italy say he's young okay but mark zuckerberg was young <laughs> was too young to do it no uh, uh, piero is uh, the talent itself so i like the idea more people can never again like finance no can have access to his uh, his uh, music of course there is not only piero playing music in the world but let me say that also we became friends and being friends uh, there are so many moments even if we are dealing uh, we, we are playing different sports uh, in which these uh, can be helpful for both you say you are bringing like you are supporting piero but i'm thinking the opposite is piero that is supporting me but every time he's beside me or play on an idea of mine a music like ground zero or or right after you will listen to miami bridge i think uh, he is proving that my journey is uh, is uh, okay and i want only also to say something else about uh, but when uh, everything will be a little bit uh, not artificial but connected uh, 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 technology what will remain to for me art will remain what, what piero is doing <laughs> i think uh, is the real good part uh, of something no sometimes uh, as you know musician artist uh, they are putting something okay this is uh something no <laughs> not so profitable but this is double wrong because it's also the only part that in my opinion will remain Well, I want uh, now, but also in the future, that uh, in the middle, the real value these guys are putting on the table, these guys, I mean me, my family, my co-investors, the team, uh, is reputation, okay? is a long-term distance uh, awareness of, uh, of reputation. It doesn't matter, and this is my goal, if you think it doesn't matter if we are talking about an espresso machine or we are talking about uh, investments <laughs> we co-investment with other that guy is there in milano no they went all over the world like my father my grandfather no and every time they make a deal uh, you are sure you can be safe uh, you are you can be sure that reput their long-term reputation is in the middle uh, of the table and i'm hope also not not to maybe i'm dreaming no that this is something for the family but also no in an osmotic way all the people uh, are working with us not for us with us attracting talent okay maybe they're also working because you know like in rancilio of course someone is working for the salary i'm not stupid no but on the other side uh, is the long journey and the reputation, the real goal for every one of us. Robert, I can say to, when, when my mother, she say now that I'm crazy, I can say that I'm new normal.
thanks to you, thanks to all of you. Ciao, grazie a tutti. Ciao. Eh, no, ho avuto un problema tecnico, ma...